What's good guys, welcome back to another episode of GNG News. I've got a double ballista pack to open up again today. This was 3 99 which contains two booster packs. One which is from Rebel Clash and the other which is from Darkness Ablaze. These are both from Sword and Shield, which is the latest set of Pokemon cards that are available um, for you to all get. So let's see uh, what we get inside both of these. As I said, if you're going to be opening up Pokemon booster packs, this is the best way to do it. Um, if you're starting off as this is cheaper to build a deck this way. And if you like opening up boosters, uh, you know, two for the price of one. You can't really see too much about that, could you? But uh, let's do this. So let's open a, actually no, let's open the Rebel Clash pack first. Um, <clears throat> if you like Pokemon, go to www.pokemon.com. So, Galarian Pokemon are ready to rock out. Rock out with the new Pokemon. Crank it up loud and blast up the beat. Find Rebellion, uh, Chaos, and Punk Attitude Galore in the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Rebel Clash expansion. Loaded with Pokemon including Toxtricity V, Double V, Bolton V, Sandakona V, and many more. You'll find a handful of Pokemon V Max, including the final evolutions of the three first partners from Sword and Shield, which are Sobble, Grokey, um and score bunny really forgot that one then which is fire grass and water um plus copper jar v max dragapult v max take to the stage and the streets with a sword and shield rebel clash expansion i actually opened up a um copper jar v box the other day and i've uh, got the promo version of that and the oversized card version of that shout out to matt pokemon but uh green co card in this one today Let's see what we got. Voltorb, 50 health points, generation 1 Pokemon. It's a ball Pokemon with a dex entry of 100, being an electric type, and it has a move of continuous tumble. Sandy Gas, mystic type Pokemon, 80 health points, has a move of sneaky placement, dex entry of 769. It's a sand heat Pokemon. Volpix, 60 health points, generation 1 Pokemon, fire type Pokemon. Fox Pokemon with a dex entry of 37, Confusion Ray and Smash Kick are its moves. Coughing up next, Generation 1 Pokemon, 70 health points. Darkness type Pokemon is a Poison Gas Pokemon with a dex entry of 109. Suffocating Gas is its move. Shinx, 60 health points. Electric type Pokemon, dex entry of 403. It's a Flash Pokemon with a move of Under Pressure being a Electric type Bronzer is the card that we pulled from this pack today. Metal type Pokemon with 60 health points, two moves, one of Ram and the other of Speed Dive. Uh, has a dex entry of 436, and that is a bronze Pokemon. Butterfree. 140 health points, generation one Pokemon evolution of Metapod, dex entry of 12. It obviously is a butterfly Pokemon. Two moves, one of Panic Poison and the other of Cutting Wind. Water type energy. Followed up by Morpeku, which is kind of like a cousin of Pikachu. It is a two-sided Pokemon with a dex entry of 877. 80 health points being an electric type with two moves, one of Torment and the other of Spark. Then we have a trainer item, uh, Scoop Up Net. Put one of your Pokemon that isn't a V Pokemon or a GX Pokemon into your hand. Discard all attached cards. And the last card of this pack was a Heracross, which is a... Uh, single horn Pokemon with a dex entry of 214, having 130 health points, being a grass type Pokemon with two moves, one of super powered horns and the other a push down. So, not nothing decent out of that one. And uh, last but not least, we have the Darkness Blaze pack to open up. So, this one says. A brilliant flame of the darkest day, the Velvet Knight glows, burns and blazes astoundingly bright as the legendary Pokemon Entius arrives as a Pokemon V alongside Centerstock V, uh, Mew V, Galarian, Slowbro V and many others. You'll also find towering Pokemon V Max in the Gigantamax forms including Charizard V Max, Grimsdale V Max, Butterfree V Max and many more. Light up the fire with the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Darkness Blaze Expansion. Let's see. Green code card for this one. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of some of this rubbish. Oh, 
Okay. So let's, let's see what we got. Kafan, 100 health points. Obviously, metal type Pokemon. It's a copper turn Pokemon with a dex entry of 878. And it has a move of strength. Next up, we have Symmetry, which is a mystic type Pokemon, which is a black tea Pokemon with a dex entry of 854. And it has a uh, move of Furtive Drop. Being a mystic type, Phoebus, it has a move of Nap, 30 health points being a water type Pokemon, it is a fish Pokemon with a dex entry of 349. Pasmian, 110 health points being a rock type Pokemon with two moves, one for Call for the Family, the other a Rock Hill, it is a teamwork Pokemon with a dex entry of 766. Fletchling, which is a normal type Pokemon with 60 health points, having a move of Tackle, being a tiny bird Pokemon, also known as a tiny Robin Pokemon. With a dex entry of 661. Then we pull the Phoebus once again in its shiny variant with 30 health points being a water type Pokemon. It's a fish Pokemon with a dex entry of 349 and it has a move of Nap. Next up we have Staraptor, 150 health points, and that's a normal type Pokemon being a Predator Pokemon with a dex entry of 398. Two moves, one of Hurricane Blender and the other a Brave Bird. Grass type energy. Followed up by Arados with 110 health points being a darkness type Pokemon with an ability of spider net. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's bench evolution Pokemon with their active Pokemon and a move of Poison Sting. And that is a long leg Pokemon with a deck entry of 168. Uh, trainer item Familiar Bell and Trainer Stadium Rose Tower was the last card that we pulled. So, the two pulls that we got, which was nothing special, which was this Bronzer and this Phoebus. Um, we'll just recap over all the normal cards that we got. I will also give away then two code cards. So there's two green code cards to give away today. So you want to go to www.pokemon.com forward slash TCGO or www.pokemon.com forward slash redeem. And what you can do with them code cards, you can use them to pull digital booster packs for the digital version of the Pokemon trading card game, which is called the Pokemon TCGO Online, which means Pokemon trading card game um, online. Um, and you can also use them if you still play Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun or Moon, which are only available to be played on the Nintendo DS handheld consoles, which are the 3DS, the 3DS XL and the 2DS and the 2DS XL. If you scan the QR scan codes, they can be used to trace Pokemon in your game via an island scan, which is where Pokemon will appear for like 30 minutes that you wouldn't normally find in your game somewhere on your map. And you've basically got to like off muscle memory, uh, remember where that is, go and track them down and catch yourself some really cool Pokemon. And sometimes they can have items as well that they don't normally carry. So without further ado, I guess we better get on with uh, giving away them cards but uh let me just show you some stuff for a second so where was it what did i want to show you another into leon yeah this is a this was from the copper jar v uh box that i got from map pokemon but anyways let's get on with giving away them code cards so yeah, like I said, go to www.pokemon.com forward slash TCGO. Uh, what I want you guys to do is comment in the comment section down below and let me know once these have been used. For the Pokemon trading card game online, they can only be used once per person. So there's essentially two chances for you guys to get a code card in this video. Um, but yeah, leave a comment and let me know when they have been used as that would be helpful to find out. And uh, without further ado, here are the codes. So this is the first one. Also, just to let you know, green and white code cards normally have better pulls, green code cards normally have okay pulls um that's normally also an indication when you have booster pack when you open up a booster pack obviously you get one of these code cards if you have a green and white code card when you open up a booster pack it means that you're probably going to pull something decent compared to when you have a green code card but i have been wrong but like 99.9% .9 of the time it is right so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you all in another one have a great day